10 gifts for nomads and wannabe nomads that they probably would not buy for themselves. to the end for a bonus stocking stuffer that's good for just about anybody. Nomad, wannabe, or no wannabe. Number 10. Number 10. Now number 10. Everybody wants a drone, right? Because they take such great pictures and they fly up so high only. This drone does not take pictures. It doesn't have a camera. Not super great at flying in the wind either. This drone is fabulous. Just imagine you're at the RTR or maybe like a van build or something and somebody's DJing. It's probably Aja from Pandemonium. She's DJing or playing her karaoke machine or whatever. Everybody's dancing and laughing and smiling and having a good time and boom, into the middle of it flies this disco ball, this disco drone ball. And it's a drone, it's a disco ball, it's a drone, it's a disco ball, it's a disco ball drone. Everybody starts playing this little game trying to push it along and keep it up in the air and it's amazing. And you are the one who brought it, so you're the hit of the party. Well, no, not you. The person you gave the gift to. It's the best gift ever, it's the best drone ever. Number nine, when Granny went full-time, she had to give up her favorite hobby, because how do you do a jigsaw puzzle on an RV dining? The pieces are just gonna go everywhere. Well, not anymore, because you are gonna give Granny the best gift of all. You are gonna give her the jigsaw puzzle mat. You do your jigsaw puzzle, and then when you get to your stopping point for the day, because you know, Granny, she doesn't mess around with those little puzzles. She's got the great big jigsaw puzzles. When she gets to her finishing point for the day, she just rolls it right up and everything stays in place. When she gets to the next campground, she can just unroll it and do some more jigsawing. Granny's gonna love you. And that envelope she gives you every year, instead of a 20, this year it's gonna have a hundred dollar bill in it. noticed that I tend to avoid the practical in my gift giving. If you're gonna get something practical you're much better off just getting like an Amazon gift card because most people want to pick that kind of stuff out themselves. Okay on number eight we're pushing that envelope between practical gifts and fun gifts. This is practical and fun too. I'm talking about a collapsible lighted traffic cone. Yep, it folds down, flies a pancake, it stands up with a little light on top. It's practical because, you know, if you break down, you can stick it at the corner of your RV and nobody's going to hit you. And it's also fun because you can wear it like a hat. I'd show you that, except, number one, I don't want to look like an idiot. And number two, you know, I'm just like a poor little YouTuber. I don't even have a thousand subscribers, so nobody's sending me anything for free. And yeah, I wasn't really going to buy that just to show it to you. This is my first Christmas on YouTube. Number seven. How do you keep track of where you've been? Well, a lot of people have one of those big paper maps and they stick a pin in it every time they go someplace, but I've got something better for you. This is a scratch off map, okay? If you like to scratch off lottery tickets, you'll probably like this too. All the states are this boring brown like paper bag color until you go there. And then when you go there, you get to scratch it off and all this color jumps out. So you know exactly where you've been. Everybody else knows exactly where you've been and a good time is had by all. Number six. Socks. Do I have to say anything else? Number five. Give them something funny to watch. There are really not enough comedies set in the nomadic world, but there are a few. There's the 1954 great Long Long Trailer starring Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. You can get that on Amazon. One of my favorites, too, is Lost in America. <laughs> Albert Brooks and Julie Haggerty play this young couple who liquidate their assets, you know, get out of sticks and bricks, move into their RV so that they can just travel around America. See it all. Sound familiar? Yeah, well, there's a snag in the plan, and I won't tell you what the snag is because you gotta see the movie. You can get that in digital form or on DVD on Amazon as well. Then again, I've been told I'm pretty darn hilarious, so maybe you could give them the gift of laughter by just helping them subscribe to my channel. Number four, Nerf basketball. Bet you haven't heard that one in a while. It was big, I think, in the 70s. People had them in their offices. They'd put the hoop over the trash barrel, and then people would throw the ball right into the trash, and somebody would have to fish it out of there. Or you could get this basketball hat and throw baskets at your passenger while you're driving. Maybe not so much throw them at the driver while they're driving, but the passenger could be the basket. Who knows? Hours of fun for the sportsman nomad. Nerf football. No. 
Nerf basketball. Yeah, you could do Nerf football, but it's, it's gonna be more complicated. Give them a selfie stick. If your nomad is a YouTuber, they might already have one of these. Maybe not. If they're not a YouTuber, shouldn't they be? Give them a selfie stick. It's the best way I can think of to show you care. You want to see more of themselves on camera. Cause it's a holiday. Wearable binoculars. Why wearable? What's wrong with regular binoculars? Well, for one thing, you can't use a selfie stick while you're wearing them. And for another thing, they do not look this cool and steampunk. It's okay, there's regular day vision ones. You can take them out on a hike and they might help you see that little birdie up in the tree if you're like one of those people that follows birds. But the night vision ones, those are great for those times when somebody maybe camps just a little too close to you. So you turn out all your lights and put on your night vision binoculars and, but no, I, I mean, I'm saying you, but you, no, you don't do that. The person you're giving the gift to does that because you would never do that. I know, but you know, you have no control over what the person who receives the gift does with them. That might be what they do. I think I'm just pointing it out. I'm not saying I've done it. I'm just pointing it out, okay? And now we've come to my number one gift for nomads and especially for nomad wannabes. This book should be required reading for anybody who's planning a life on the road. The trip, it's meant to be a metaphor, but it's not really. I mean, it pretty much describes exactly what life's like out on the road. Oh, The Places You Will Go by Dr. Seuss. Then again, it kind of describes what life is like anywhere. Don't knock it till you've read it, okay? Bacon Band-Aids. What could be better? I don't even eat bacon and I still want some bacon band-aids. Can you imagine opening your stocking and finding that Santa has brought you a box of band-aids that look like bacon? Yes, bacon band-aids. Because why not? Because it's a holiday.